promised that I would uh, try to get on here, but we went without power. And uh, we were stuck. And then, uh, actually, earlier this morning was even worse because um, I had an issue. Um, this is for the second time in less than a week. I uh, had a problem. Uh, my glasses actually broke while I was wearing them, my reading glasses. Uh, and you could hear it pop. It was uh, kind of funny, actually. <laughs> Uh, some people might think it was funny, but I didn't think it was funny. Um, I'm actually trying to uh, post live links of me actually live for everybody else that's uh, here. So I'm going to post it. So stay tuned with me. Let's see if I can actually do this. I am trying to go live on here on Facebook for everybody, so see if I can actually. Oh, it's going to send me a passcode. I don't know if it's going to do that. Don't you know? If it lets me do this. Maybe I'll do it another way here. Anyway, let me try to go into And post. Don't know if I can do that. Well, it's not letting me post that way. So anyway, I'm not worried about that. So anybody, it's on here. So if people want to watch me, at least on my personal page, you're getting to watch me. And uh I have to figure out how to maneuver that while I'm actually recording here at the same time. Anyway, um, yeah, we lost power for several hours, but it was really weird. So I had to get me some new reading glasses. I have to get in for an appointment. So I think you're kind of pretty. You know, I had to buy two pair. Um, but yeah, I was wearing them and just you can hear a snap and I went pop. Anyway, so um, we are back to pop sockets. Um, there's probably going to be two more videos at least on the pop socket phone grips. Um, again, uh, I will show them very quickly. I think I put the black one away. These are the bases to them. Um, I can't really call them technically pop, uh, pop sockets. Coco's wanting to play, and I'm not going to play. Um, they'll go on the back of phones. I did put my son's phone away, but it's actually probably good. I actually have my iPad over here because they can go on the back of iPads as well. You can put them on the back. See where even the flat backs here. If you have two of them, that makes it great for you to grab them on both sides. I'm not playing Coco. I told you I'm not playing tonight. So you can have them on both sides and you grab on both sides of your iPad. They're also great to put in your phone, um, car if you want to put them on the back uh, in your car to hold. No, I'm not doing it. You got Sally. Oh, you did get me Sally. Okay, give me. And then you can actually hang your glasses, your reading glasses, your sunglasses on them. So I'm not going to take them off and put it on there. But, um, oh yeah, I should show you that again. Uh, if you're following along, uh, unlike the ones that are actually name brand, you can screw those off. These, you'll have to pop them through. But uh, the ones that are name brand, they start about 15 and go to 22. 
Uh, mine start at 10 and go to 35, and that is because they're not paper uh, or plastic little jimmy things. Mine, um, I put a lot of work into them. And um, they run between a single pour to a quadruple pour. Um, and they are different designs. So <laughs> you brought Jesse back to me. Aha! There you go. Okay, what I'm going to show you right off the back, and I will explain each one of them. Each one of them are different, and then they do have different backs to them, different colors. And you can collect them all. This is kind of like Pokemon. If you want to know how my business now runs, um, and I bring in Charming Custom Crafts back to where it used to be my original, when I started Charming Custom Crafts back in 08, it started at charmingcustomcrafts.com, and then I went to here on Facebook, and then also added in to uh, YouTube and Instagram, and I am considering doing a TikTok, but I probably won't because it's hard enough for me to make and do social media at the same time. You brought me back, Jesse. Jesse is a Jesse doll from Toy Story. I'm going to show you the different Mandalorians that I made. You also see them in keychains um, and clips. So I made them in different colors so that if anybody has a favorite a favorite flavor of the month. You can change them out. I do have, um, see, I get so excited. I have to calm down when I talk. I'm going to go with the regular Mandalorian, and I have them in different shades here. And then um, I have them in different colors. I don't know why I can't think of his name, and I know the videos. I got them right. Why can I not think of the green one? And I thought of it in all the other videos, and you guys are probably screaming at me. And Coco's wanting my attention. What is the green Mandalorian? And I had it in every video, baby. Boba Fett. There we go. So I have Boba Fett, too. So I definitely have Boba Fett. Boba Fett. I have three Boba Fetts. And these are on black ones. They should probably be on. Most of them will be all on black ones. I have three Boba Fetts. So for the ones who were saying to me before when I did them in the red in the middle, um, don't fret. I did them all differently. So these three are definitely full, proper Boba Fetts. And then, of course, I have some that are, like, black with purple. Yes, Coco, I am getting to Jesse. I'm going to get you. I'll get you. Nope, you got to let me have Jesse if you want me to throw Jesse. And then I have a, a gray with green, and that has a little shimmer to it with a darker green and it does have a green uh, foam grip to it and this one's black with gold so you get an idea and there are a lot of different mandalorians in the uh, star wars universe so if you guys have been following along with the story of mandalorian you would know that and then this one's like a, a sparkly gray with the blue and this is like the gray with the white almost like a stormtrooper and then this one is the darker grayish blue with the blue outline and this one has the white pop socket. Where's Jesse? I got Jesse. I probably have to throw it about 20 or 30 times before he wears out. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven of the uh, Mandalorian pop socket phone grips. These are what's available at this time. And again, look back at the keychains, uh, clips, and lanyards if you're looking at the um, Mandalorian design. I'm going to try to go through these as much as possible. Let me pull out a Boba Fett. Yeah, I thought I forgot about sharing and showing you one. If you want me to read a comment, is if you're on the Facebook page, on the Charming Custom Crafts Facebook page, it's kind of easier for me to see that. My eyes are not as what they used to be. Plus, I'm on my phone, so if you um, message me on there, it's a little bit harder because the words are really, really tiny. So there you go. If you put it between your fingers. And it does, um, the, the phone grip is a little bit bigger than the Mandalorian. Just so you see that. Pretty, pretty. And it does have, yes, Coco. See it over here. See my finger? Are you a smart cookie, but I'm smarter. It is, um, have a seal over it. So you know that all my resin is food safe. 
Um, when I say that, it is food touch safe, not necessarily food safe. Um, when resin says, where somebody says it's food safe, that means it's food touch safe. That does not mean you can put it in a microwave. It does not mean that you can put it in a dishwasher. That does not mean that you can put hot heat on it. That does not mean you can put a hot pot on it uh, or a um, uh, oven hot pot or if you just warm up something in on the stove, it will absolutely melt it. It does not mean you leave it out in the sun. Uh, it is hand wash only and I would say with room temperature with a mild soap. Um, you leave it in direct sun, it will get soft and it could melt. Um, but it is so, uh, food, food touch safe. Um, countertops are also done with food touch safe. Just so you guys know that. Here is a triple pour and my triple pours do get more expensive. And um, this one is done with an embed. I do have more Moo Moo's coming. I probably have maybe about 20 Moo Moo's coming eventually. And it is a, re a reverse canvas. Yes, I get you. For all my Moo Moo's, I have some that are coming that are sitting down, some that are roaring up. Some of them are just faces. You will see them coming, but you will see that I put two little sparkly hearts up in here. And this is a black and white design pour and different. Uh, this is just ebony here, up in here, and then a sparkly holographic in through here. And all of my embeds always start, and all of my pop sockets, when they're the round ones, always start with a clear pour. And you can see that here. And you can see that the black would have been poured first and then let dry. And then I would give it about uh, 20, 30 minutes and I would go back in and pour again so that it would give that striped design for the Moo Moo. Super cute. And then I would make sure that those two little hearts were put in separately. Super cute. Who doesn't love the Moo Moo? If you're a farmer or somebody that likes it, and again, it's on the way. I am coming, Coco. You are so needy. And there are more coming eventually. And then when they come, I will let people know when I make it. Look, didn't stand the way. There you go. When I make more, and I will let people know on the Facebook page when I'm making more and if one is coming up. And if you're wanting that one, I will. Um, it won't be considered a custom if you're looking at it. And I am making it. Then um, I'll design it the way you want if I'm already making it. And I already have it done. I, I will show that I'm making them. And um, it, since I'm already going to be making it, and if you you pay for it because uh, while I'm make, while I'm in the middle of making it, won't be considered a custom since I'm already making it. Um, then I'll go ahead and design it the way you want. For those who have to have it all and got to collect them all, I got your back on your Pokemon. I got two pegs, I believe, right here, and these are double pours. Again, double pours are cheaper than the triple and quadruple pours. And here is, I don't know the name of this Pokemon. Stop. Where is Jesse? Go get Jesse. Jesse's over there. Go get Jesse. Go get Jesse. Go get Jesse. Go get Jesse. Where's Jesse? I know. Can you give me some love? Go get me Jesse. Everything will be cleaned and sterilized with alcohol prior to. Go get me Jesse. Go get me, Jesse. No. No. Oh, no. Coco is so funny. And then these are Meowser. I believe it's Meowser. Shh. Get me. Get me, Jesse. You either get me, Jesse, or Dante. Go get me, Jesse, or Dante. He's demanding tonight. And then Stay Puff. Not Stay Puff, but. Stop it. I want to just wear a squirtle. Uh, wait, that is Disney. I hope go on that one. Stop it. I can't do this with you, Coco. Do I need to get you a treat? I can't do this. Let me show these and I'll get you a treat. Okay? No, not right now. No, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No. Give me Jesse. Oh, he's demanding. I got another Meowser. I think is what it is. And another Jigglypuff. 
Jigglypuff. See, I got one that's set for a boy, one set for a girl, and Charizard. Two, two Pikachus. And then this is the turtle and a different stage. I think that's the second stage. So these are double pours. Again, there's always a single pour. Actually, they're generally all double pours. <laughs> Stop it. Okay, guys, I have to take care of this little boy. Come here. Let's go get some to chew on. Come here. You are just needy tonight. What do I have? Come here. What do I have? Come here. Let's see. How about this? Go. And then you can take that one too, if that's what it takes. Jeez Louise. My goodness. And if I get for you, I got to get for the others because then that's they're going to come running up to me wanting something too. Take your other Chewy. You know that won't last long. Now i got to sterilize my hands again. That's all you get. You better make sure you get the other one. You make sure they get theirs. Oh, I love demanding shit. Sorry for the words. Let me make sure the other one. I only have three left. Here, Jay. My old girl now. There you go. My hands sanitize. Smother my hands. Hands are coming in totally soaked. Goodness gracious. Lord have mercy. Okie dokie. I'll make sure I'll take one out. I definitely want to do Jigglypuff because Jigglypuff is just beautiful. So now that I got him settled down, let's see how long that lasts. I'm totally soaked up. Okay, Jigglypuff and Pikachu. I got hand sanitizer everywhere. Meowser. Yeah, I call them Meowsers. This one's done in the copper foil. And that one's done on a tan pop socket. Match him. Same with this one that's done with the blue glitter. This is a long glitter with the tan. That's the two of them. Pikachu's done like on a green chunky lime here. And then the dark uh, green. Because every time I see him, he's always like out in the grass fields. So that's the reason why I was thinking of that. And they're both done on yellow pop sockets. Charizard is on a multitude of like yellows with a little bit of silver in it. That's done on a black. Because I was thinking of the outline because he's actually outlined in a little bit of black. That's the adult stage of Charizard. Yeah, he thought I forgot about that. I used to watch Pokemon all the time with my kids. Um, and then this is the younger stage of that one. See, I'm not too far off, though I don't watch it anymore. But I do miss watching it. And then it's on a black pop socket. This one's on a blue pop socket to match the color of the turtle. Young stage, middle stage. Though I still think that might be this middle stage. Maybe that's the adult stage. But that's like on a black color with a black glitter. This has the metallic in it. And it's clear with the gold uh, flaking foil on the black. And that's on the blue. And then... I think that's a turtle too. Wait, let's go with the stages. I think these are all the turtles. I think that's the adult stage, this is middle stage, and that's a baby stage. Pretty positive about that. And that one's with the black background. Pretty, see, I'm not so far off, am I? Huh. And then Jigglypuff has pink. Both of them have the pink pop sockets. And this one has the blue to match the eyes. And it's on a pink pop socket. This one's like my favorite. This one's got like the flower glitter. I believe it's clear with just a tint of uh, smaller glitter. You heard Mr. Charming in the background. He's going to bed. He has to put the Alexa music on. So this is the pink. As you can see, this is the pink. And it's on there. Trust me, I use Gorilla Glue. It's not going anywhere. It is not going anywhere. Look how pretty. Very sparkly. 
And it is attached, folks, trust me. I have had people test these out and uh, used and abused their copies, not their copies of this one, but their, their hop sockets, even at work offices on clipboards, and they have not gone anywhere. And again, if you see that there is a layer clear where my embeds go and they're attached to the inside, and then you can see where another layer is put in there, it's not going anywhere. So those are the double layer Pokemon. So Universal fans, I do have some, um, I do have, I believe, more Pokemon. I'd have to check that out. I'm not sure. And I have got to sit time sometime this week and order the lanyards. I do have more minions for you guys. So I did have them in clips and lanyards. Um, I'm going to have, sorry if I bumped the phone here. I have some fun lanyards here. I have a minion and Captain America. And he has some... Um, Misty Fog behind him, that was a fun trick to play with. Uh, and I had to use some alcohol ink to do that. That was a very, very fun trick to do. Um, those who do resin know that that's a very interesting trick to have fun with, with resin. And you have to get that right when you're pouring um, the resin. And it's if you've never done resin, you don't know how to do that. <laughs> it's an interesting trick. And I got it just ever so slightly right. And to do that without doing the waves, of water or waves in the water without messing up the rest of it yeah that was a trick so and for me to not mess that up was great so this one is actually more expensive than this one because this is a double pour this is a triple pour and this is um, um, a minion playing golf and this one's a maid these are double pours this is a triple pour so this one will be a little bit more expensive than this one and I'm going to show you this one Coco no, we are just not playing this. You you get what you want, and then you just, it's just never enough. I mean, you're a drama queen, Coco. You're male drama. You're all drama. So you can see that. You can, you can see where it dropped down in here, but you can see where it's a layer here, and then layered up in here. One layer here, one layer here, and a layer here. They should all be on yellow. Pop sockets, yeah, they're all on yellow, and that is to match my minions. So this is a drop pour here. This is poured in separately from this back pour, and you can see the clear up at the top. But he's a fun one. How, how cool is that? Very fun piece. And that's got a blue um, resin glitter there. Yeah, what, Coco, get Jesse. Do you, you want me to turn and have everybody look at you for a minute so they can see your your sympathetic look? Let, let's let's have everybody look at you for just a minute. Let's look at sympathetic Coco. Let's look at sympathetic Coco. Yes, let's look at sympathetic Coco. That that wants mommy constantly. Yes. You want you want to look at the bag? Yes. Go get Jesse over there. Go get Jesse. No, we're gonna get Jesse. We're gonna go over and get Jesse. Let's get Jesse. Let's get Jesse. Let's get Jesse. Okay, we're going to come over and we're going to get Jesse. I got Jesse. Does that make Coco happy? Does that make Coco happy? Okay, here's Jesse. Oh, Lord, have mercy. This poor dog. I have one beautiful little kitty cat. Now I have more designs of kitty cats. What I ended up doing is use majority of the ones that were already done for the vet's office after Lily passed away. And it was my way of saying thank you because the vet came in after hours when normally they don't. Um, so you're going to see more kitties and doggies coming up, but I made 25 of them. Give me Jesse. You want me to play, and then you won't let go. There you go. So um, this particular design is an off design, and I only have so many of this particular kitty, and it's super, super cute. And um, he brought me Jesse back. He's quick. And again, everything will be sprayed down with alcohol and dried. 
there's quality control on everything prior to going out the door. So if you're worried about me with cocoa, don't worry about it. And I will do that because everything um, is going to be quality controlled numbered and you'll see um, warnings. Uh, it'll be a warning reminder of you with the um, food touch safe resin, the fact that you don't leave it in a high heat. You don't microwave it. You don't put it in a dishwasher, things like that nature. There'll be a warning label on everything. And if it does glow in the dark, you will know by a little sticker. Matter of fact, let me leave that there for a second. And I will actually show you the sticker that will go on your package. All my packaging is holographic, as you see. At the same time, if do, if it does glow in the dark, I, what would you do with Jesse? What did you leave Jesse behind? You don't leave a girl behind. You're not Biden. You're a gentleman. Okay, so if it does glow in a dark, you'll get this glow in a dark sticker that says I glow. It'll be on the package. So give me that. Give me that. You are a military dog. Don't you dare. Anyway, so this one, um, if it does glow in a dark, you'll see that sticker on your package as well. And so this one doesn't have anything, um, anything glow in the dark, but you'll also see on this particular one that I did it like diuretic glass and it says meow. And this actually, before I put it in, there was a little velvet kitty cat and it's a pretty thick little cat. It actually comes down into here. So when I do things, I have to make it a little bit thicker so it makes it stronger. That is a very pretty one. And I match the pet socket phone group. Yes, Coco, Coco Dante. You guys wonder why his favorite, our song for him is Un Poco Loco. But it's a very pretty, and it does have the heart in for the O. This is one of my favorite ones, because that one reminds me of Mickey Donald. He's our all-black kitty cat. I wish I could keep them all, but I don't know what I would do with them all. That's why I love to make and share and share with you guys. Okay. Ah, I got her. Da, da, da. I have to keep playing until he's done. And that's like that dog is like a never enter energizer bunny. You'd think he can hop like a bunny. These next ones here, guys, is Disney princesses. These are double pours. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Give me. You give me Jessie Cowboy. Give me her. You're already biting her on her face. Give me her. Okay, I'm going to let go. All right, bye. If you want me to play with her, then I'll throw her. <laughs> Okay, so I have um, Jasmine, I have Ariel, I actually have two Ariels. I have one with more of the chunkier glitter to look more like um, seaweed colors, like mermaid scales, and then this one's more like blue, like she's under the under the sea, and like, could you stop it? I swear, this has become all about you tonight. Yes, you are just drama queen. You're just so funny, I'm sure everybody's laughing. I kept it with the same colors with Jasmine because it almost goes with her, her little outfit. So um, with uh, Ariel here on this one has the red behind it with the red pop socket, which I don't have. I might show you her. And then I left it with green with here to match her tail on this one. And then with Jasmine, it's on black to match her hair. So I'm probably going to show you this one. He's so much fun. We need to wear out. You're worse than two-year-olds and three-year-olds right now. Lord have mercy, he's only nine months old. I swear this dog has more energy than my children did when they were little. And that tells you something when I had a son with 88 feet. See how pretty. So you can see why I matched it to the red it goes with her hair. These are double pours. Remember, my double pours are cheaper than my triple and quadruples. I am coming. Justin, why can't you? Okay, my cat. My cat that has a, had the broken back. I'm going to take his tail off, Justin. Him and Coco, I swear, it is a um, Milo and Otis, if you've ever seen that Disney movie. If you guys watch um, the, the TikTok page of Wet Notice to Curly Tail, which is also going to be the line for the pet line, got to go to the TikTok page. These two really are Milo and Otis. And he actually will grab him by the stump of his tail and actually drag him around the house. It's sad. Even when he was probably like four pounds, he would do that. 
Okay, so for those who are in the medical field, these are great. There's one for an ambulance here and then one with a shot. I will be making more of these for those that are in the medical field. This is done with the metallic foil. This one is, and this one's done with making like the diuretic glass look, but it's made to look like ice. Um, this one's on the black because of the outline of the black here. Okay. You get me, Jesse, and we discuss that again. You're not going to stand here and tell me that I'm going to get you more treats. You got your treats for the night. You either go get Jesse, you go get Pirate Duck, you go get your Blue Monster Dinosaur, or you go get the Green T-Rex. No! Or Coco Dante. Or you go get Dante Coco. And then the, the ambulance has the red back. No! We ain't doing it. I'm trying to talk to you, and I'm talking to a dog. So this one, like I said, is just like Ariel. You can see the clear layer here. My jukebox just went off. Oh, and then Roxy has to get her two cents in too. But I want to show you this one real quick. That is, it's not a thermometer. It is a uh, syringe with a needle. He needs to go lay down. He's just so much energy. So when I package them and number them, because we're going to start with 001, 002, I have my label maker out. That's how I'm going to number them. I'm not going to put UPC labels on, which I could, but I'm not. Um, if I was doing more of the farmer's market again, I probably would. So look how cool that is. It's like having a shot on ice. It's almost like doing the COVID shot like that. And if, if you do do um, disperse the COVID shot, that would probably be a really cool one to have. You need to stop. You are seriously making me mad. You go get Jesse, or that's it. I'm going to put you up with Justin because you drive me batty. Come here. Come here. You go play with, you come lay down with, you come lay down with Justin. Justin's like, no. Nope. Done, boy. Okay, for those who love Monsters, Inc., I got your back, too. I'm telling you. I, lovers of lovers, Mike Grzowski. Oh no, he's coming back. No. <laughs> My son's asleep, so I can't get him to preoccupy. So I got plenty of both guys. Matter of fact, I think I have more. Of him. He is just driving me crazy. He is at my foot, pulling on my my socks and my shoes. So I got plenty of both, and I have the actual emblem of the university too that's coming too. If I think I might have done that in the clip or the lanyard. So if you guys are looking for a variety, if you're wanting to like match up everything, like the clip, the lanyard, or a keychain, I believe that I have enough that if you were really like a big fan of one movie, I've got your back on all of that. This is like the black gold. Like if you were to, I'll probably show you this one. I'm going to probably show you this one. This one has the green. I think all of Mike's has the green. And then, like, this one has the black. I don't know why. Coke has got me so flustered. I don't know why I can't think of the monster name. I know his name. Coke has just got me so backwards. So when you look at the one I and embed these and, and I pour the second pour behind, it's like the infinity, you know, the infinity mirrors. And I know you guys know what I'm talking about. When I do these, especially with the, the black in the back, with the black, uh, gold glitter, it actually looks like the infinities behind it, the infinity mirror. And this is the reason why you'll see me do this one a lot. I think it looks very cool. Uh, again, when you actually get a chance and you look at this in person, when you purchase one of these with the black, it's actually black ink, and you'll see this back in the back here. Um, it, and I put the gold. It's just a very, very fine, fine very dusty gold um it actually pulls towards this and it's like it's like you push and pull it back but i don't do that it's just the way it lands it does give you that almost appearance that you're flying like through star wars and it gives that an affinity mirror look so that is his face that is the body and i have two of them please forgive me coco's really got me flustered and when my brain doesn't function right because if you guys don't know, it was September 1st, 12 years ago, that I was in my hit-and-run accident. And that's more of the tealish mica background. 
and that's the blue blue glitter chunky blue medium chunk and then this is the multicolor. he's like having a party on that one i have five in total currently he is flustering but i have like a six different seizures and um i'm thirsty sorry and um it, if you're my age, a lot of you probably think that there's only petite and grand malls. But like autism, it's a scale. Um, and when I was diagnosed, there was directly 11. They were working on finalizing two more, but they believed that there was upwards to 16 to 18 different types of seizures. But I have six different types of seizures. Some of them I'm aware of and some of them I'm not. Um, I Extremely rare do I have a grand mall. But it's the other ones that are actually worse for me. But I could be talking to you and then I could say something that don't make any sense at all. I can um, forget a word and then 10 minutes later remember it. It's where really weird stuff. Mm. It's why I try to calm myself down when I'm talking because I get too fast. Coco has now disappeared. So maybe I was too excited for Coco. Oh, no, he's right here. Alexa, turn off the office. I have an Alexa like two feet from me. And I have to have certain lights on so that you guys can see everything. So I need to calm down, which helps my brain function better because the neurons are moving too fast and the... It gets jaggered too much, and I'll forget words, and they're stupid work. And you watch, and if you guys have watched these videos, I'll think of it like the Louvre the other day, and it took me maybe 10 minutes on one video, and at the end of the video on another one. It's like when you guys remember something, it's like on the tip of your tongue, but I have that a lot. If you would have known me before my accident, I was never like that. It's like pregnant, pregnancy forgetfulness, but it's like that for me all the time, especially when my medicine's not working right. And I don't want to go back to my doctor and tell her that because then I have to go back to a neurologist. And I don't want to do that because then they'll take my driver's license away. But I'm not having seizures per se. I did have a couple on the road trip. That was my fault for not taking my medicine correctly. Okay, so my Hello Kitty girls, you've already seen those in clips and lanyards. And I'm trying to do more of those with keychains. I'm just trying to keep myself more calm. So these are super cute. This is more of the Sum Sum face. This is a Sum Sum face. And then this is more of the standard um, Japanese kitty. So that's the Sum Sum look. And then this is really sparkly. This is on pink and that one's on white. Of course, it's always pink. this. Like I said, that's more the standard, but that's an extreme sparkle with the, almost a diuretic look, so a diuretic glass look. And then that's just some, some, again, this is a double pour, a standard double pour, but I'm going to show you this one. That has a little bit of diuretic glass look to that one, but you good ladies, if you like, or the young girls or teenagers, or the ones that are just getting their phones, Matter of fact, my daughter's first phone was a Hillary Duff phone. You're going, Hillary Duff had a phone? Yeah, it was totally pink. It was one of the big pad phones. The letters and numbers of keypads were on this side. All the letters and alphabets were on one side in the split screen. She would have loved this if I could have found a Hillary Duff piece. And matter of fact, I do have some. Yeah, you'll see them as I make them. I have a little glue on this side. Part of quality control when I finish them up and I, I put all the... Are you guys wondering why? And I've had um, I have a couple people ask me uh, when they can place an order, and this is why I have not set it to where I, you can place an order yet. Not only do I need to actually put them in a spreadsheet, but I need to label everything, do the final quality control, and bag them, number them, and put them into inventory. What I'm doing is showcasing them so you guys can see everything at one time, and then as I go back through and I put them into inventory, I put a number on them so that they match my inventory sheet. Then I can finalize, spray them down with alcohol, seal up the bag, of course. Um, and then with the quality control, clean bag, label, 
if there's glow in the dark, I'll be able to tell you that on the bag with the warning labels of making sure you guys don't put it in the microwave, dishwasher, stuff like that. Just the basic little warnings. Whether or not, of course, you get a little label, whether or not it does glow in the dark. It's a little bit of quality control so that you guys know which e piece that you're getting, whether it does or not. Just a little reminder of what maybe you saw on your, when you were looking online and what I've explained to you here. But also with me showing you this, you can actually see the size, even though that maybe if I forget to put any di um, measurements online, I will do my best to put measurements on, but this is another reason why I am doing these videos, so that you can see how big they are. Now, I may not have big hands, but I do have little chunky hands. <laughs> But these are the standard size, and they are the same size as the ones that you would get in the name brand. And what we'll do is, I know that the PopSocket name brand has started a swap um, that um, you can um, actually swap. So what we'll do is, after Christmas, is we'll start a swap. And I will also put on here, um, with that I'll be able to, I'll put up um, being able to purchase with, with swapping the extra sticker labels, the 3M stickers, to be able to reposition them. Actually, that's not repositioning tape, the sponge tape, but uh, if you ever take it off, you'll be able to uh, move it because that is a one-time position. But with doing an exchange, if somebody wants to exchange with somebody else, we'll be able to put that on there. Oh, I found another Hello Kitty. This one is not a single pour. This is a triple pour. And this one's more expensive. It might be a quadruple pour. And you'll see why. And, um, of course, you have the single layer here. I go back in and I individually put every one of those little butterflies in. You see the butterfly is all the way around. And I put those in with tweezers. And then I went back in and then I put the crown in after laying down a very, very thin layer of clear. And then I embedded the crown. And then I went back in and put the back layer in. So that was almost a four layer. And she's super cute. Right? So this one's a much more expensive one. That one's done on pink. So that's more of a custom one. So when I get in and I get more fancy on them, you get a little custom one. There'll never be another one just like that. Now I have a whole bunch of these guys that you guys need to put below what these little elephant family is. And I know my kids watched it when they were little. I have like more of these guys. This is a double pour. And I can't remember for the life of me the name of the show. Um, and I know my kids watched it, but I have more of the whole family. Um, and they're adorable. But it might be one of your favorite shows when you were a kid. It's on a gray pop socket. But I have more of them, and they're super cute. So this one's done like on a teal mica. Um, smooth. Creaming mica. And I put a little bit of glitter in to shine behind them. But I have the whole family in characters from the show. But he's just my first one, and it's done on a gray pop socket. But please post below if you remember the name of the show. Because I want to make sure that when I post it that I have the correct name of the show. But that's a double pour. Again, that's a standard one. Let's see what's next. Oh, throwback. I have some throwbacks. These are going to bring you back to your childhood. Different different genres of eras here. So we have the 80s, the 90s, and um, the 2000s. So it depends on what era that you grew up in and whether or not you were raising children in. So this would come back from the 80s and actually through now we have a Care Bear. Um, we would have the nine, this would be more of the early 80s, late 80s, early 90s through now. And of course, 
or my son was little, would tell us a tank. So we have our Care Bear. I think I'll show the Care Bear over Thomas the Tank and Mario. I might have Luigi. I haven't got to him yet if I do have Luigi. I totally do have some other characters I haven't got to. So here's Care Bear on yellow. These are Devil Pores. Might be my only Care Bear. I think, no, I have other Care Bears and I, they might be in it might be clips or lanyard yet. I don't know if I've made them into clips or lanyard yet. Again, if I bump the phone, I apologize. So, of course, you can see why I pegged it to or glued it to. Um, and these aren't going to come off. Um, again, if you've seen the real pop sockets, they're very thin. They're actually thinner than this. I guess the maximum size that they are about this thick. Um, mine, again, depends on the difference of the embeds. And even when the embeds get too thick, I try to... Um, sand them down as thin as I could possibly go. So I will go to the belt sander or a um, my Dremel and try to make them smaller. So I do put some work, serious work into some of them, of the embeds. So I do try to make them as thin as possible, but some of them I can't do anything with to make them any thinner or I'd lose the design. So this, and I don't know what the flower one is. I don't read. That one wasn't out when I was, I don't believe when I was a kid. Maybe it was. I only had certain Care Bears that I really cared about. So then there's Mario on green on green. Usually he was down in the sewers, but, you know, I think I was thinking of a movie with this one. And then there, of course, is Thomas the Tank. He's on full holographic. And then he's on black. So there's some throwback ones for you. Trying to make this exciting for you. But those are double pours. Double pours, again, are cheaper. Let me give you a shaker one. You know, Betsy and Tammy were pretty excited about these. This is a clock shaker pop socket. Phone grip. It's on a yellow one. The yellow one's the only one that would work for the back. But this is from a little bit of red to orange yellow to the tip of the blue here. It does have a bow in it, which I made. There's a flower in it up in here. And then there's some lips. And I always try, there's some beads in it. And again, there is some glow-in-the-dark stars in here. We'll see them. So it will get one of these stickers that says I glow on the packaging when I complete it. And I will clean it down. It's got a little oil on the outside of the packaging. So if it does feel like there's some oil in the packaging, that does not mean it's a leak. It's because my hands were oily when I put it in. Because I use baby oil. Baby oil does not uh, mold. Water does. So anybody who actually uses water in their um, shakers... I wouldn't buy them if I were you. I might make some dry shakers in the future. Um, I'd worry about dry shakers to a point, but at the same time, dry shakers, if they drop, they're probably a bit just could be dependent if there are metal findings in there. I would worry about them breaking a little bit more. So that's the clock shaker pop socket. Right now I only have one of those made. Again, I still have some more shakers that I am working on. Which way they're going to go, I don't know. Um, for my sports people, I have one basketball right now. It's a double pour. It's on black. I'm not going to pull that out. You guys have already seen some of the um, clips and lanyards. It's pretty much the same thing. It's on the black, black and black glitter. Black background. I don't want to pull out every single one to bore you. Again, my house is still in pink. I'm waiting for my little Rose's Ashes to come back. When Rose's Ashes come back, I believe they'll probably be back tomorrow. Then um, the house will come off of pink. And she's home. And then, uh, because this was, a, you know, Lily passed away in April. And her ashes 
her up on the fireplace. They'll go in my bedroom at Christmas and Halloween, or Christmas. And then this was a year of the locusts. That's why I didn't plant the trees this year. So for those who like Universal, I've got you cover. I've got SpongeBob, and I have from Harry Potter, Harry, Bart Simpson. And I believe that was my only Bart or anybody from the Simpson family. I have Dora. That's my only Dora. And I have a Tweety Bird. Tweety Bird's got a little bit of the diuretic glass with the yellow background. I might have one more Tweety, but I know for sure she was my only Dora. And I'm, I know he was my only Bart. And Dora's on pink. And that one's on yellow. I might show Dora. And then uh, Harry Potter is on red to go with his red scarf. SpongeBob, of course, is on yellow. Let me show Dora. These are all double pours, which means they will range between like $10 and $15, depending on which one. Again, if you pop these, then you pop all of them, and you can change the tops from one to another. But again, they're inexpensive. So I'm going to buy another one, and I will eventually have um, replaceable pieces, so you can just pop them from one to another. And there's your Dora. If you guys have not seen the grown-up version of the movie Dora, I actually recommend it. I'm just a little hesitant about it. I actually enjoy it. I do hope they don't do a Diego, though. I didn't. Uh-uh. I actually hope they do another movie of Dora. I loved watching the show with my kids. I have two random pieces here. I'm not going to take them out. I have a smiley face here and again that has that deep space look when you look at it. It's a slight creamy white with the holographic glitter here with a yellow back pop socket. And then here's a Barbie words with a heart and a heart here. The pink, or not Barbie words, love. So those two I can tell you right now will be $10. When I have just random ones like that, they'll be 10 They might even be cheaper than that. Okay, for all those who love Star Wars and love the Millennium Falcon, I did make my husband's, um, I don't know where, I don't want to pull out his uh, ID for his job, but I did make his into a clip. So um, I, I can make these into clips because I already made his into a clip for his work. But I also made him into lanyards uh, and who um, pop sockets. So some of them might even be, I did make these all as close as I could to the actual color. But you also see me make them into clips and lanyards. Uh, I made my husband's into lanyard. I made him into keychains. I think I, no, I don't think I made him into clips and lanyards. And I was getting to it because I made so many of them. I wanted to make sure that I had them in pop sockets. So I probably should have made some more into key, um, the lanyards. So I have a whole bunch of them for all those Millennium Falcon fans for Star Wars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And just so you know, the color is slightly different for each one because they're all made individually. Um, so the the colors vary, but just know that this is probably the most, these two are, this one's probably the most accurate because it's it's slightly, they're not white. Millennium Malcolm's not white. It has a slight dirty hue to it. And um, to put a gray color over the top wouldn't be accurate. So I highlighted it more with black so that you can see all the little details on the Millennium Falcon. So I have eight Millennium Falcon pop sockets. But I did not, I thought I made them for clips. So just so you know that I will be making some because I thought I did. Because when I got to the clips and uh, lanyards, I thought I did. But I know I made my husband's like that. And he has his... I took his badge because he works for at and in the government sector. And um, I redid his. And he's like the talk of the building. I ended up making a, a new clip for one of those coworkers. 
and he loves his too, so. Okay, so these are the more expensive ones, just so you guys know that. I'm trying to go flip-flop back and forth between the doubles and hand-painted and reverse-painted and then doubles, triples, quadruples, and then hand-painted ones so that you guys aren't bored with everything. So these are for my tough guys, for my construction workers, and I'm going to show you a little bit about uh, at a time. And I'm considering this one Bob the Builder because he reminds me of Bob the Builder, but it doesn't have to be. And then the rest of them are construction vehicles. And these, those are all reverse hand painted pieces. Um, but in Bob, and I'm only going to pick one of the construction vehicles to show you. Um, but I did not miss out on my construction workers. So here is the worker. It's on a cloudy, rainy day because he is stuck at work. And if you look, it's a cloudy day. And it's all, now this one I domed. So it is smooth at the top, which means I put it back into the mold and gave it a smooth dome atop. He's in the forest. He has some bushes in through here. This is sand down in here. So this is actually four layers through here. So those are actually sequins. These are sequins with rocks and dirt sent through here. So that you do have your worker here. He's pretty cool. So right now I only have one construction worker. Again, you never know what I'm going to be pulling up. Now the next four pieces are, and I'm going to show you one of the four pieces. I'm going to pull out one, are construction vehicles. Depending, and I don't know the name of all of them, but I know I have two bulldozers. Okay, I have two bulldozers. I have a crane. Oh, yeah, I do. I have a crane and a dump truck. So um, I'm going to show you each one of them, but I'm only going to take out one. So this one, uh, and it's, they, it's actually lighter than this, but I'm only going to, it's darker because of the packaging. So this one has been painted with uh, mica down at the bottom. And then there is some clouds up through the top, but it's starting to get stormy up at the top. So he's done for the day. And you can see like little rocks in through here and little rocks in the back that he is trying to push the rocks out of the way. So there is your crane and forklift on the front of that one. And you can see where it's in the back. It's got some glitter here to where it looks like it's some bushes here. And it has some paint up in here. And you can see the trees in the back and the clouds up in here and some dirt. Again, you can see that I put some work into this. And these are why these are more expensive. And then you can see, I'll probably show you, these are just beautiful. You can see my trees in the back. These are multiple painted with, again, little brushes tinier than this. And this one's pushing dirt and grass out of the way. This one's dumping um, sand and dirt. And that is actually the San Francisco sand. And I actually had to push this down in here just the right way. And it's got a whole bunch in here, and it's got some little rocks into here. And you can see where I actually go in here. And I will push it up into here. And then I actually put the tree in here and then put a little layer in here with some UV resin. Then I go back in and I color some UV resin and I go in with different ones of different color, little paintbrush, bun brushes, and I go in here at multiple times. And then I hit the UV light and then I hit the UV light and I do multiple layers. And a prime example is this tree right here. And again, these are both beautiful within the right. But this tree is breathtaking. You can see why these get more expensive is the time that I put into these. These are reverse canvas pop sockets. And I want you to look very closely at that tree and the work that I put into that tree. So when I do a tree or I do a reverse picture, I take my time at it and I want whoever who's going to enjoy it to really enjoy it. So for those workers, those construction workers, I wanted to make sure that you got love too. So there are four construction vehicles and one construction worker. So I made sure you guys got some love. Ain't about just the girls, fellas. For my nature lovers and my bird lovers, from the bird watchers, I got you covered. I have a tree with 
that uh, vines, some great vines in through here. This was a reverse painted too. This one is a vines with some, um, some, um, some berries up in here. It could be grapes, but this is like a vine tree or, or some vines with some grapes or some berries on it. But that's hand painted with a um, night sky in the back, but that's like a canary for me tropical bird but this one's my favorite of the two I have more birds that you'll see coming that has a black background they always look better when I have a uh, white bat white pop sockets so you can see the blue skies this one's on red because of the cardinal but you can see the clouds and disbursement but you can see the real flowers in the moss in here but this has real dried flowers in this just see how beautiful that one is. Again, not only is that hand painted up in there, but that also has dried real flowers in it and the clouds in it. It's very pretty. Again, these are more expensive. The time consumption that I put into those. Not out of the ballpark, folks. I did find another Mandalorian. This one's in orange and black. I'm going to put this aside because I think there's more floating in here. I have a pop socket shaker, a heart shaker. You guys have already seen the heart shakers and keychains and um, clips and lanyards, but I'll go ahead and pop this one out real quick. It's on a pink pop socket. You've seen them on clips. I'm not going to pull it out in the back. This has got the flowers, the hearts, the beads, and I'm, I don't think I put the glow in or dark in this one, but it's all full of lots of yummies. Very glittery. Somebody is definitely going to notice you on that, your phone. That would be a pretty one to put in a card, too. So you used to hold up your, your sunglasses. All shakers are obviously more important because they take me about, four, about at least four hours a piece in total full time. And Okay, for all my super ladies out there, I did not forget you. These are for my super, super ladies. Because if you are a cat woman... Let me see if I can get that better. If you are a cat woman, you love the night. If you just like to be a, a superwoman in general, or if you're a Wonder Woman girl, I've got you covered. I actually had two of these, and then uh, I allowed my daughter to pick one for her future mother-in-law, and she, of course, loved Wonder Woman. So there is Wonder Woman. Supergirl. There'll be another one of these coming down the line. And then I have both cat girls up here. And that one glows in dark. This one glows in a dark. This one, I believe, has some glow in a dark capabilities. But these are uh, more expensive because I do have hand painted in reverse multiple pores into this. These are at least three pores to four pores in each one. Supergirl is, Wonder Woman is awesome. She has dirt down in here. She has hand-painted pieces up in here, and she has clouds up in here. She's more of the night, but also midday here where it starts to get, or mid-morning where it's still kind of dark, but it's starting to turn completely light out. She's who I'm probably, I don't know. She has a moon and stars, but I know she glows in the dark. Cat girl. Who do I want to show? She's standing on a moon because you can see it. she's got a moon here and a rocket here and shooting star. And there's clouds up in here. But she's got some glow in dark capabilities. That one's on a black one. That one's on a black one. That one's on a black one. It's a pretty easy to see. I really like her. She's got a big old cloud behind her like a plume of smoke where she just ran to you. I, I like this one. She's on a white pop socket, and she's got lightning bolts off to the side, and she's ran through the grass. She's got this big plume of smoke coming up behind her. 
tell me she's not like the coolest, right? Again, it always starts with that clear layer there where I can adhere the, the end bed into it. And she's got this big plume of smoke behind her. You can, see, you can see back here and up through here. Like she just ran through that grass. She's super girl. She a lightning bolt. She just ran. That's the active expression for you. You see that blue sky behind. See the blue sky there? Through and through, you can see her coming. That's Flash, like Flash Girl. So for my superhero girls, there are four of them there for you, ladies. So if you got a super daughter, there you go. I got two cat girls, a super girl, and Wonder Woman. There'll be more coming yet. That's just what I have made for my holidays. I have two ornaments on green here. I'm not going to pull them out. Um, and then I have Santa's hat on red with glitter. Again, that has that Star Wars effect on that one. And then I have a gingerbread house. If you guys want to have Christmas ones, it's on the yellow pop socket. Again, has that Star Wars effect. I'm not going to pull these out. Um, you guys have already, I've already shown you that look. Couple randoms here. Here's the word kiss. Very pretty. That has multiple pinks and reds in it with the word kiss. It's on pink. Um, if I'm going to show you between the two of them, it'll be this mermaid. These are double, double pour. I'll show you the mermaid. We are getting down to the end, folks. So if you guys wondered when I do the blue and the green that gives that mermaid effect. This one's on pink. Go with her hair. You can see why I, I designed that one that way. I can let you know there's probably going to be two more videos. That is how many pop suckers I have. I think I told you I had about 390. So I have my random animals here. So if you guys are a certain animal that you're looking for, I may or may not have it already made. I have a panda here. I have a ladybug. I have a cute little monkey. I have a bunny. These are double pores. I have a koala and her mama. I'm not gonna take these out. I have an elephant, a monkey, an adorable doggy. This one, I'm going to probably show you that one. I have a bear dressed up like a piggy. Very, very cute. I really love this one. This is, has that rainbow pour effect, by the way. These are double pours. That's a, um, a multi-pour of at one time, by the way. I'm going to show you this polar bear. It's a double pour or triple. Well, it's a triple pour, but it's a double pour on the second. It's a double pour on the second, but it's, it's technically a triple pour, but I won't charge for the triple. And then I think I'm down to one. I'm down to showing you guys four more. And then I may show you a little bit more, but I'll stop and give you guys a break. This one's cool. I wanted to do like the Arctic look, so I ended up splitting the mix and darkening it and then putting it in two cups and pouring it once. So of course you've got the clear look, and then I split the mix into two cups, and then I poured it together. So you had the Arctic look on the polar bear. He's super duper cute. So you have the double ice look. The deeper, the deeper, the the older, the darker the ice, the actual bluer it gets, if you guys did not know that. Um, it's just kind of like, <sighs> blue is the hottest star, and it's also the hottest part of the flame, if you guys did not know that. Um, you guys should, if you remember your science, right? But it's pretty much the same thing with ice, too. So it's also on blue. So is Mickey, he's waving hi. So that is my polar bear. 
I might have more polar bears, but they'll probably look different. So there's my polar bear. So if you're looking for other animals, let me know. I probably haven't. Can't guarantee it, but I'm going to show you. I do have Tom and Jerry. I have other Tom and Jerry's, but I don't have them all out. The same Star Wars effect includes on most of the uh, double pours. Just depends on if it's a finer glitter. If it's a chunkier glitter, you don't get the same effect. The finer the glitter, the more of the Star Wars effect I could do. And I know I ran out of that very fine glitter, and I need to go get me some. It looks so much better with the gold. Even if I did it with the silver, it doesn't work right. I think it works better when I use the black with the gold. It, it just I know, I've tried it with the other colors, and it just... For some odd reason, it works best with the black or the gold. But you have to find that real fine, 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 fine gold. And like the blackest ebony you can go. And I've experimented with that I don't know how many times. But it seems to only work in that, that chemistry of look. Um, but I've done enough pop sockets to find that out. So there's Tom and Jerry. Um... Well, it's Tom and Jerry, but Tom, uh, Jerry's not in it. It's just Tom Cat. And it's on gray. It's because Jerry is gray. But I do have some of Jerry. So that is that one. Each peg has different themes. I haven't done that on the clips and the lanyard yet, though I need to. Probably will do that when I finish the inventory. Again, this is all about showcasing it so you guys can start making your list. And um, it'll be first come, first serve once I start putting them up. And I will put them up with the prices. And until I get every single thing up, I will not take an order. Um, I'm going to put this over. I want to show this first. That's a quadruple pour right there. Okay, this is from Cars the Movie. These are double pours. That's the police car. That's the chief. And then this is the big monster truck. I do have more cars items, and you, if you haven't seen those in the clips and lanyards, um, I will be making more in the futures of the cars. Um, so there, this one's on green, and this one's on a darker green. Um, this one is on black, and that one's on black. You'll see mostly on black, because I always worry about how people feel about the colored ones. Those are double cores. Standard, and then this one is my last one for this video. Um, where is that one here? Again, most of them, what you saw, are going to have the standard back. And I have the other one here. Bum -ba -da -dum -bum -ba. I just had it. Um, I do have the other ones, and I showed this in the video yesterday, and I have these in black and white. These are the other ones. Um, some people use them. I don't. I do have them. This is a cheaper pop socket back. or fun. This this is what I would call more the phone grip. Um, and this is why I call it the phone grip. If somebody wants me to make a custom one with this, if you think it's easier, would be easier for you to hold your phone, please let me know. I would actually make the phone, um, I would call it a phone grip. I would make it cheaper. Um... They cost me about the third the price than buying one of these. Um, these can cost me upwards to two, three dollars a piece. And that has nothing to do with all the work that I put into these. Yes, they're actually that expensive. Um, it's crazy um, how much one of these actually costs. So um, I do have these in black and white. They do not come in any other color. Had to say, um, even though that they're both 3M on the back, not as strong of a piece, you would think that it would be, um, but I can always um, get you some extra, um, I do have extra tape as well. And um, you would always have to work with this piece. Again, it's not on something already flat. It is strong. The, the joints are strong. Again, I have it in black and white. And some people might like it that way. Over, um, and again, it might be good if you had something like this and you can put multiple sunglasses inside of it. 
versus having something like this that's just the standard pop socket look. So your choice. But I make all mine with this type of back. Again, if you want a custom one, I only have so many of these in stock. I don't use them currently, but your choice. Okay, let me get to the last one. And again, I will remind anybody who is looking to order to go back to video one of how this is all going to work. Um, I'm getting ready to also launch my all natural bath and body line. And um, I no longer live half a mile to a mile and a half from a post office. I am 15 to 18 miles from a post office. That's why I have my own shipping system now. So that's going to be the bonus to you guys, but I'm only going to ship twice a week. Um, because I also do not want to make all, um, make my two postal servers mad. <laughs> they will get mad because obviously I have anywhere from small pieces uh, to what you're going to find out if you watch video one. Um, and I didn't even show you the biggest pieces yet. Um, so, and I have the all natural line with glass. So I'm about to make my postal workers mad. Um, but I'm also going to kiss their booty. Um, with gift cards during the month. So we're going to be very nice. And if you guys like to give them gift cards or nice gifts and cards and say thank you, because I know that you guys are card makers. And even if you want to send them cards and say, we love you. Um, we're going to be very nice to our postal workers, especially at Christmas time. So um, we're going to be nice to them. And um, say thank you for being so nice to Miss uh, Constance here, Miss Charmy. So, and by the way, that is the name of the female line. We're going to name it after uh, Charming Custom Crafts. The female line is Charming, um, and the men's line is Mr. Charming, because that's what we've always named my husband. So it is Mr. Charming line and, and Charming line, and then uh, the pet line is what knows is to curly tails. So that is what I've decided. Bam. So just made it easy. It's what we've always talked about. So on to the last piece here is my little dragon. And this is a, a quadruple pour. We've got the clear at the top, like standard. We have the back line. I have hand painted in, as well as put in some glitter down in here. And he is being kissed by everybody. He is just the cutest little dragon. And then of course I put some wispy little clouds up in here. It's gonna be hard for you to see with the lighting. I have a ghost. I'm going to leave it at that. Um, so I have the little wispy little clouds. And this is the reason why I put this one on white. Because you can see that it is blue here. You'll see it better in person when you get it. You'll see the little wispy clouds and the fact that it is blue in the background. You can easily see a spike. You can see how three-dimensional he is. Um, to the person who gets him, you'll see him. But he's being kissed from both sides, left and right. So... He is my kissable, loving dragon. So right now, I believe he's my only one. I may have another dragon, but I, I don't think so. But I believe he is my only dragon right now. I can look, but maybe I'll check before one of my next videos and see if I have another dragon. But I think he's my only dragon right now. He is absolutely darling. So he is my kissable dragon. He just reminded me of Game of Thrones, and I had to have a dragon. So there is my dragon, and I try to make him as neutral as possible so a guy or girl can have him. So that is the last for this video, guys. And I'm going to try to put this stuff away and try. To, and let's hope that I can get another video up tonight. If I do, that I may only do two lines instead of three lines. because I think I have six lines left on the tower. So maybe I'll just do two lines. So if not... Um, Maybe I'll shake things up and do something else. But if not, I will see you tomorrow. But maybe, fingers crossed, I'll be back.